Hey, how you doing there, my dear friends? It's Dan. That's me. My name is Dan. I'm in uh, beautiful, beautiful, tropical Oakland, Illinois. <laughs> Great to see you. Hey, I got a little thought for you. little thought for the weekend. Jesus' disciple, one of his disciples, a guy named Peter. You've probably heard of him before. Peter asked Jesus one time, hey, how many times should we forgive someone anyhow? Let's talk about this forgiveness thing. And then I, I think probably feeling pretty good about himself, Peter said, seven times? Should, should I go as high as seven times if I'm forgiving somebody? See, the standard that the rabbis at that time would have suggested would have been three. Forgive three. Be, you know, be generous. Be gracious. Forgive them three. Then after that, you don't have to. You're under no obligation. So Peter was really kind of going above and beyond the call of duty. Should, should we go seven, Jesus? Huh? I think Peter was probably thinking Jesus would respond by saying, get over here, you, I love you, you knucklehead. Ah, you're so gracious. But Jesus, in, uh, <laughs> in typical Jesus fashion, surprised Peter and surprised everybody else who was listening. And he said, no, don't, don't forgive seven times. No, no. Here's how many. Seventy times seven. Now, of course, we know Jesus did not mean keep a keep a tally, get out a scorecard, keep a very keep very careful records of of your forgiveness for different individuals, and forgive a person. Be willing to go up to four hundred and ninety times. That's not what he meant. What he really meant this was a, like a way of saying a figure of speech. He was saying always, always be willing, always be willing. To forgive. Now, the first thought that may come to many people, <laughs> many honest people who hear this concept is, why? Why? Why in the world would I do that? Why? That's nuts. What do you mean forget? Why would I ever consider this notion of always being willing to forgive someone? Let me answer that question with a question. <laughs> that was a tactic Jesus used from time, uh, from time to time. Here's the question. How many times has God forgiven you? Isn't it pretty likely that God has forgiven you? If you consider this, every sin you've ever committed in your life was a sin against God. So by that standard, isn't it likely that God has probably forgiven you more than 490 times? <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Hey, why should he keep forgiving you with that kind of a record? Here's another question. Is it likely that you and I have sinned against God way more, way, way more than any one particular person has sinned against us? Pretty, pretty likely, right? See, part of the answer to the question of why would we ever forgive anyone, e even one time, forget seven times or 400, well, even one time, why would we ever do such a thing is because we are recipients, of forgiveness. We've been forgiven. That's why. In the uh, book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32, it actually calls us to forgive one another. And here's how it puts it. Just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. That's how we forgive, the way we've been forgiven. So, here, do this. In a way, what we, get, what we have to do is take the whole idea of how many times and throw that out the window. Throw that out. Forget about that. Think of it this way. Why would I ever ever be willing to forgive anybody even one time? Why would I even do such a thing? Answer, because I'm a person who stands in need of forgiveness. I am. Answer, because I'm a person who's been forgiven by the Lord when I did not deserve it. Answer, because God says you need to forgive others the way Jesus forgave you. Here, let me give you one more question. There's just one more, one more. Here, if you sincerely ask for forgiveness, you ask God, like you're, you're genuinely repentant, you're sorrowful, but, but this is the 500th time now for you. Like this is some road you've been down and you just, you keep stumbling and falling. You, you mean well, but you stumble and fall and you keep blowing it again and again, but, but you come to God and God knows your heart. He knows you're sincere. Will God forgive you? The answer is, yes, he will. Yeah. So, therefore, we forgive others. Now, I know everything I just said there 
raises further questions or it raises follow-up questions. Yeah, but what about in this situation? Or what about that? Or what about this kind of a person who acts? I know, I know. We're going to talk. I can't deal with all of it now. We're going to talk about this further on Sunday. What is this Sunday? November 19th. And, and uh, you're invited to come and join us if you're in the Chicago area, or even if you're in like Tennessee or Iowa or Kentucky, drive on over. Come on. It's only seven or eight hours. Get in the car. Uh, First Church of God, 4600 West, 111th Street in beautiful, beautiful, tropical, lovely Oak Lawn, Illinois. Come on out and join us. Service times are 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. Come and join us. You'll be blessed.